around to it. So it's kind of like an updated version of the original video I filmed where I talked about my green eyeshadow palette collection. So you guys are gonna see some shadows that you already saw in the previous video and then I'm gonna add more to it. So I don't have a lot of like true green palettes but I do have a ton that have a pop of green but of course I feel like the green trend is around. It's gonna probably be around for a little bit longer. We'll see how it goes. I hope it doesn't die but thus is life and thus is makeup trends. Things change so so quickly but I'm not complaining. I have been loving the fact that brands have been getting into green eyeshadow so it all started off with the more indie brands but I do have quite a few mainstream brands that have hopped on the green trend as well. So without further blabbering, let's get into this video. If you guys have been watching along with Vlogmas, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel. It helps me get the word out of my channel. So I don't even know where to start. Oh my gosh, this is terrifying. Let's start off with a indie collection. This is the green collection by Sydney Grace and they did this as a dupe to the pickle palette. That was an April Fool's joke in 2019 I believe. I can't remember the name of this collection but these greens are amazing. Sydney Grace has a nice variety of greens so whether you're looking for like the olive tones, the true greens, the shimmer greens, like they got it all girlfriend and this is such a fun collection. If I have the time, I'll try and link everything in the description box just so it's easier for you guys to shop, but this is gorgeous and I'm so happy to have this in my collection. Okay, these ones I know I bought them all because it hurt, but these are, ah, oh my god, I just, hmm. So these are my single green shadows from the brand Give Me Glow Cosmetics and I did throw in a yellow there so whatever but isn't this gorgeous? It's so fun to stare at. So some of these are bundles, some of these are individual shades. This green, oh my gosh, I bought it the second they launched it because it was so beautiful and this is what that looks like. So very excited. I need to do like swatch parties on my single shadow collection. Let me know if you guys would like to see that in the comments because I'd be happy to do that for you. Here is a kind of a green with a pop of blue palette. This is the Certify, what is this called? The Affinity 2 palette. I really, really wanted this palette so, so badly. And I finally scored it on sale. I would recommend not buying Certify full price because you can usually find it on a good deal. And I think it's always fun when you can save some money. So I have used this palette a few times and I think it's a beautiful palette. I definitely want to use it more. It's so fun and there's some dual chromes down here. So very cool palette. Okay, next is one of my all time favorite green palettes. I wanted to film this video just so I could have access to this palette because I've literally had these palettes in this container sitting over there for like probably half the year. So this is the Tribe Palette by Juvia's Place. As you can see, again, a great variety of yellows. There's like a highlighter yellow, a regular green. Um, this duochrome reflects green, it's stunning. Um, like a dirty, olivey, mustardy green and then a dark green. So. I just think this is like the best palette that Juvia's Place has honestly ever come out with. In my humble opinion, I really, really do love it. And if you are looking for an affordable green eyeshadow palette, this would be my number one recommendation. So not an affordable green. And honestly, I can not attest to the formula because Melt is a hot mess sometimes. But this is, again, one of my favorite high-end green palettes. I screamed when I saw this palette. It is such a beautiful palette. I know I have a few looks with this palette on my YouTube channel, so if you are wondering about whether you should pick this palette up or not, I would say yes, because it's gorgeous and again, love it so much. One of my first all green palettes that I ever picked up was this guy by Misha Liu. I saw my friend Angelica talk about this in one of our Rulat Buy It videos and at the time, that she talked about this palette, this was about as green as you were gonna get with a palette because they're always mixing in greens with palettes and you didn't really find full-blown green palettes. So I was so pumped when I got this and it is a beautiful palette. As you can see, there are some pops of green with some neutrals and then this beautiful dual chrome shade which has a green shift to it. Oh my gosh, stunning. And I like this formula. I think it's really good. I don't know if they've come out with anything recently. I haven't really kept up with the brand, but I am happy that I own this palette. 
and I really like it. Okay, let's do some pops of green just to mix things up. So I did pick this one out to show you guys. This is the Lethal Cosmetics Hive Collection. They've definitely added more greens and blues to their lineup. I just haven't picked anything up from them recently because I don't even think I've given this palette enough love yet and I have another one of their collections that I haven't played with at all. Like I bought it and it's in my makeup collection but I've never used it. So I definitely want to play more. But how cute is this color combo? So there's two, actually there's three, three greens here and then a bunch of really great neutrals that work really well with that whole combination. So I love that very much. Another kind of random one I wanted to, wanted to throw in. Again, very slight pops of green is the ColourPop X I Love Sir E palette. This is one again that I want to play with more. My friend Paulina is always doing such beautiful looks with this palette. Also, it has like this pretty green packaging, so it really sells the green theme for me, in my opinion. Of course, it makes sense to include the Paulina palette. This girl loves purples and greens. Those are like her favorite colors. So she launched this palette, I believe, last year with Blush Tribe and She's got some beautiful greens and some beautiful pinks and purples, which is totally her vibe. I want to do another video with this palette because I haven't really touched it in a long time and I know she put a lot of effort into making this, so very happy for Paulina always. I think it's still available, so if you want to buy it and support her, um, I will try and remember to link it down below. If I forget, let me know, otherwise just look it up on the internet. This one, <laughs> this is like the joke of the century because Tarte did this little April Fool's joke because they thought it'd be so funny to tease a green and blue palette and the internet like lost their mind and they're like, really, you're not going to release it after you teased it? So this is their Icy Betch palette. I don't think I ever showed this in a video, but here it is. It's actually more blue than green, but I thought I'd include this and let you guys know I have it and it's actually not a bad palette. I was pretty impressed. I think this is the only Tarte palette I own. No, I own one more. I own one with Aspen Ovard, um, so I own two Tarte palettes. Yay me, um, and I just wanted to mention that to you guys. Okay, so here are some more pops of green palettes. This is the Natasha Denona Tropic palette. So cute. It's got two little greens in here. Again, I have not used this enough, so I don't really have a huge opinion on it, but I did snag this because I just thought it was so adorable, and those are the shades that I thought were really cute in the big one so when I was able to get them in the small size I was like yes give it to me. I also picked this one up I haven't used this yet this is the Norvina Mini Pro Pigment Palette Volume 2 and this has about three green shades and it's just so tiny and adorable like how cute is that they're definitely taking a page out of Huda's book but I like it I think you know give people variety and different sizes and things to play with it really helps them appreciate a brand I think when there is variety Probably the <laughs> most recognizable green palette of 2019 is the Avocado Palette, the Tasty Avocado Palette by I Heart Revolution. And this guy is so cute. Again, you guys should like reach through the computer and just like hit me because I haven't used this and I want to. And it's in my pile of palettes to play with. Teresa is Dead gave this palette a really good review, so I'm really, really excited to try this. And I'm going to try this. It needs to be tested before the end of 2019. God help us all because you know how slow I am at testing eyeshadow palettes. The next palette I want to mention is the Pisces palette by BH Cosmetics. So this is part of their Zodiac collection. There's a good amount of greens in here and I have tried this palette out and I don't think it's a terrible palette. I think it's a great way to try out greens if you're scared of them and also it's an affordable green palette which is Super nice. Another really good affordable green eyeshadow palette is this guy by ColourPop. This is the Just My Luck palette from them. And we were so happy when ColourPop finally gave us a green palette. This was one of their first like monochromatic palettes. I think the only ones they had before this was like the pink and the purple perhaps. Again, another palette that I do need to use more. But she's so cute and it's $12. So this is a great way to try greens if you're like not like super into them. Oh, this palette. I love this so much. This is the Colored Rain Safari Rain Palette. This is one of those palettes that I would love to incorporate more into my daily makeup routine. There's three gorgeous green shades right here in the middle. I love Colored Rain's Foiled Formula. These are so buttery and this packaging is so stunning. I love this palette so, so much and it's such a great 
neutral slash green palette for all of you that are a little afraid to dip your toes in the green pool. More palettes that you should try if you just want to like do neutrals and greens. The Metropolis palette, you guys know how much I love this palette. I feel like I've been talking about this palette since the day I got it. These beautiful green shades are so fabulous. And these mattes are like the most blendiest, butteriest, like most amazing mattes I've ever used. And I love this palette so, so much. So I had to include this in the video, even though it's not like a straight green palette. It's like the perfect mix of neutrals and color, in my opinion. Another really good one that I'm not even sure if you can get this anymore. This is Subculture 2.0. Lacey from Spooky Lips and Fat Hips has been raving about her Subculture palette that she picked up from Home Goods or Marshalls or wherever. And so when I saw this, I was like, let's grab it. And it's so good. It's the Anastasia formula that I love that they didn't get in the round one. So I think they reformulated it, but I don't remember them actually saying they were reformulating it so it's kind of a bummer because I think Anastasia really missed out on getting some really good sales because everyone loved this color story but they hated the formula so they I don't know why they didn't tell anyone that they reformulated it and launched it they kind of played themselves a little bit there to be very honest with you guys okay here's a fun palette this I had to buy as soon as I saw it, or as soon as it launched, this is the So Jaded palette by Milani. Can you guys believe that a drugstore brand did an all green palette? And they actually did it really freaking well. This palette is awesome. It is stunning. And Milani's done a really good job with their eyeshadow formula. They're honestly my favorite drugstore brand. I don't try out a lot of drugstore products, but typically when Milani launches something, it definitely piques my interest because I've had really good luck with the brand. So. I think this is a fabulous palette for a green lover, especially if you're on a budget. You can pick that up at like Walmart and stuff. I've seen it all over the place. Here's another fun um, green and blue palette. This is the Well Song palette by Menagerie. Now, if you've never tried Menagerie's formula before, this is a very pigmented eyeshadow formula, and most likely it will stain your eyes. Now, I don't really care about staining, um, so it doesn't bother me, but this is um, the only palette I think I have from them. I used to have their um, other two palettes the Dragon Child and the Feral, but I did declutter those. So I picked this up because I couldn't resist the shades, but they are very finicky, so be aware, but I love their presentation with their palettes and their newer palette, Killer Purr. Oh my gosh, it was so hard to say no, but I did resist because I didn't need it. Um, but it's so gorgeous and I've really been enjoying seeing my friends create looks with that palette. Another beautiful all green palette is the Juicy Olive palette by Give Me Gold Cosmetics. This palette is probably another favorite of mine for 2019. It's such a stunning color story, amazing mattes, beautiful shimmers. If you're on the fence about it, definitely pick this up because it is so good. It's so, so good. Okay, so we have another cute little guide. This is the Sci Fi Green palette from Kaleidos. I bought this one, but I'm now on their PR, so I do get PR from them. Um, but this one I did buy with my own money, and it is so stunning. I think it's a great dupe for Melt Gemini. I actually don't own Melt Gemini, and I don't feel like I need to because I have this palette. You guys already know. Love the formula, love the brand. Very, very happy with that palette. Another blush type palette that I have not, I don't think I've even used this. This is like I think I've swatched this one shade. Everything else is looking, you know, perfect. This is the Hasina 2. I think they've discontinued this palette, perhaps. So I think I'm actually going to declutter this from my collection, but I wanted to show it to you guys as a green palette that I have in my collection. But I am going to say goodbye to this because I don't think you can buy it anymore. And I'm going to double check, of course, before I declutter it. But I don't really even use that palette very often or at all. So I shouldn't be keeping it. Next palette. Oh, my God. So beautiful. This is, this is the Oceanic palette by Ace Beauté. And it is so gorgeous. Again, I need to use this one more. But I did film an eyeshadow look with it. And it is so stunning. And I do like the formula a little better than their Paradise Collection. The Paradise Collection palettes were a little like, uh, I didn't really love those. I thought I should include the Melt Vita palette in here. I should also probably included the Morte because it does have some teal shades. Um, okay, it really only has two green shades. So it probably doesn't really have any business being in this, but 
Look at this packaging, so gorgeous. Another one of my favorite palettes of 2019, no doubt. So I'm including the Luna Beauty Moonspell palette because it does have a whole shade, a whole row of greens, and I think that's pretty awesome. First time I think Manny did this many greens in a palette, so I thought I would include that. And I really like the Lunar Beauty Eyeshadow Formula. I only have two palettes from him, the Strawberry Feels or Dreams or whatever, and this guy. And they're both actually really good, so really enjoy that palette. I couldn't talk about greens and not mention these guys. So this is the Taco Palette from Glamlight, and honestly, their eyeshadow formula is one of my favorites. Such a fabulous formula, and they're so buttery, and the mattes blend, and the shimmers are so, so fantabulous. And then last but certainly not least from Glam Life is the Burger Palette. It's got a few green shades in here. Oh my gosh, so stunning. These greens, me and my husband were swatching this one day. He was drunk. I don't know if you guys remember on my Instagram stories, you guys thought it was hilarious, but he was like drunk swatching the Burger Palette. And we had a hoot of a time, let me tell you. So. Okay, and then the last two green palettes, I have this little guy from Huda. This is the Huda Obsessions palette in Emerald Obsessions. Definitely need to use this more. Is there a need to use more pile? This, this needs to be in it, but it's so cute and compact. So I love that she has been doing those nine pan eyeshadow palettes. And then I thought I'd include this because it does have a beautiful like shimmery gold green and then this like olive color and this darker green shade. So really like this little guy. It's definitely more of a grungy, greeny palette, green gold palette, but I thought I would include it because why not? So that is everything. I'm sure I have tons more hidden in crevices. <laughs> in my eyeshadow palette collection, but I thought it would be fun to do a little bit of an update and show you guys more palettes that I had added, some that were already favorites in my collection, and just share my love of green eyeshadow palettes with you guys. Let me know your favorite green eyeshadow palette down in the comments. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will catch you in my next video soon. Bye, guys.